This is Ron of Super 8 to Video. I set up a new computer for video editing. As you can see, I have four computers that all look the same. All these machines were bought used. I buy these computers because they can stack on each other and I find them very easy to paint. I believe HP puts out reliable machines. The first computer I use for business, which has my client's information on it. It is never, and I mean never, connected to the internet. That's how I protect my clients from hacking. Computer 2 is used for banking. It is only connected when I want to go to my bank on the internet. This computer is unplugged from the internet until I physically plug the ethernet cord in. When I am done banking, it is unplugged again. None are connected via Wi-Fi. Computer 3 is my internet surf computer, or computer I use when the video editing computer is rendering a video. These three dual core computers cost me a little over $100 for each one. Large companies auction off these machines by the pallet load. People buy the pallets and sell each computer individually on eBay and Amazon. The older ones are dual core Intel computers. My latest computer is a quad core. It cost me $205 for the machine and $20 shipping with no operating system. I paid $40 for Windows 10 at GameCheap. The video card cost me $70 and the 500 gigabyte SSD drive $140. It came to just under $500. That is the cost of the computer, but the time involved is a whole weekend. This video is a quick overview of the process for anyone that wants to do something similar. I painted the computer, then I put a new battery in the motherboard. These batteries are what keep the BIOS setting when the computer is turned off. I bought these batteries from Amazon because they are brand new and guaranteed for five years. Batteries bought at retail stores may have been sitting on the shelf for years and all batteries leak a little charge, even in the package, so they may already be half dead when you receive them. Next, I installed the low profile video card. It has to be low profile because of the small case and that is why gamers hate these HP computers because you are limited in how much expansion you can do with them. Next, I put in the USB stick that has Windows 10 loaded on it from GameCheap. If your computer doesn't load with this USB stick, then you need to go into the BIOS and tell it to load via USB. Once you get Windows loaded, make sure to completely update Windows and check to make sure it is completely updated before you move on. Next, I loaded WordPerfect, then CorelDRAW, then Unreal Tournament, then Dragon Naturally Speaking. After all that, I downloaded Spot on the Mouse, Audacity, Ease US, and finally Screen Hunter 7. I updated any of these programs that needed updating. This is why it takes all weekend. After that, I bought Video Studio Pro 10 Ultimate via download, which is the newest version at this date, May 18, 2017. Once everything was loaded and updated, I cloned the hard drive to the SSD drive. Now I have a backup drive with all the programs loaded. The SSD drive loads in about 15 seconds, where the hard drive took 30 seconds. I will say, once you get used to an SSD drive, it is difficult to go back to hard drives. The hard drive I put in a closet. If I get a nasty virus or some corruption happens to the SSD drive, I pull the hard drive out of the closet and use this hard drive to clone the SSD drive again. This puts it back to this date, May 18, 2017, with all those programs loaded and in what I call a fresh state. This is how I physically hook up the SSD drive to be cloned. I move this white connection to the blue SATA input. 
Then I start Ease US, a free cloning tool to do the clone. I clicked on this Optimize for SSD and did not check sector by sector. This clone took over an hour. Now you know what I did this weekend. I do my own tech troubleshooting and am mostly self-taught, so there is a lot I do not know. Having this hard drive backup of all this work is my insurance. I know the worst that can happen is that I have to spend a little over an hour recloning the SSD drive to fix any software problems. When I was all done, I have a quad-core Intel i7-3370 clocking in at 3.4 GHz, a 500GB SSD drive, 8GB of RAM, a GeForce 730 4GB 64-bit video card, and Windows 10 64-bit. I also have an easy way to erase any viruses or fix any software issues with any of the programs I installed. Sitting in my closet with no bloatware and all this for just a little under $500. I compared my older computer to see the difference in render time between it and my quad-core computer. My older computer is an Intel dual-core E8400 3.0 GHz CPU running Windows 10 64-bit. It has 8 GB of RAM, 128 GB SSD drive, and an Asus Radeon 6450 2 GB RAM 64-bit video card. One thing I want to mention about these HP computers is because they are low profile and have low wattage power supplies, you are limited in the video cards that will work on them. I physically cut off the VGA part of this Asus video card because it would not fit in the small case till I did. I did this with a grinder. I tested the two computers by rendering a 972 megabyte file and the dual core took 19 minutes and 19 seconds. I then rendered the same file through the quad-core computer and it took 6 minutes and 4 seconds. So the quad-core was a little over 3 times as fast. I thought some of my subscribers may find buying a used computer and building it up from there an option they may want to consider for a video editing rig. This was a quick overview of the process but not a tutorial on how to do it. If you do decide to use one of these HP computers, I want to stress the limited video cards you are open to. The video card I bought for the quad core suggested a larger power supply than the HP has. But since I use an SSD drive, which uses less power than a hard drive, and I know I will not be adding any other power hungry devices to the motherboard, that it would probably work anyway which it seems to. Hope you found this video of help. This is Ron of Super 8 to Video signing off.